Hello YouTube land. It was uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I think, that I was in uh, Chattanooga for a coin show and silver was coming down off of uh, its recent uh, highs of about $18 an ounce. Uh, at the show, it was down to $17.50 and lo and behold, uh, silver prices are down about 30% right now. So uh, I saw it hovering at about $13 an ounce uh, the other day, and it still might be at about that price. Uh, so uh, there are a lot of memes going around of back the truck up. <laughs> Let's get uh, while the getting's good, uh, while we can get at such a low price. And that's what I've done right here. This is a lot of uh, 22 foreign silver coins at a good price. And since there are 22 coins, the lot was originally... $22 plus shipping, but since the price of silver had fallen so much, uh, there was a make an offer feature, and uh, I was able to get the price down uh, even below that. The seller accepted my offer right away, uh, and so uh, let's take a look at what we got. There are really two uh, key coins here that for the, the collecting part of me is really happy about, and uh, so the rest of them are... Uh, pretty close to junk silver and he uh the, there was so much tape surrounding the envelope i see we've got more tape uh, securing it to this piece of cardboard right here so that we don't lose anything um so with the coins at about a dollar each there's some coins definitely in here that do not even have a dollar's worth of silver even when it was at uh 17 an ounce and uh he did make sure to say these were damaged or coal coins uh slick um low grade and so there's not a lot um, on here that or there are going to be some coins on here that uh, don't have any real numismatic value to them uh, let me find the the good ones first uh, make sure they're uh, all here okay we're going to start with this coin right here 20 centimos Flip it over for a moment. We have Alfonso the Twelfth of Spain from 1881. This is a uh, Spain colonial coin, which means this is not directly for Spain, but one of the uh, countries that uh, belonged to Spain at the time. And the way you tell is looking at the mint mark. And the mint mark on this one is. Uh, right there where it says P.O. This is from the Philippines, and this is my first Philippines coin before uh, it was United States territory. So we are looking at 20 centimes here. This uh, my oldest Philippines coins. Um, special place uh, for me for the Philippines because I have uh, several colleagues uh, from the Philippines. Uh, most of my team is... Uh, uh, from, from the Philippines, we uh, email each other daily and talk uh, a whole bunch. So, uh, very happy about that coin. That is the uh, one that's the biggest highlight for me. Let's take a look and see if we can find the other highlight. It's going to be this one right here. And this might be, of all the coins that come in today, this one is a contender for the worst shape. And uh, this one is... The, the back here, you almost hardly can't see anything on here. Uh, there is a date of 1800 and uh, something right there at the bottom. Looks like 1807 on this coin. Uh, this is from one of the countries that uh, eventually uh, became part of the uh, part of Germany. Get it where we can see it on the camera here. Uh, this is from Wurzenberg. I believe I'm saying that right. I might be messing it up. It starts with a W for sure. This is a six cruiser coin. And so uh, this is um, not too much silver. This is one of those, even though it's in poor shape, I'm more interested in the numismatic value than the silver value of that one. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. This one is a, a coin that is so slick that... Uh, you can't see any details on it, except um, barely barely can tell that there is a uh, like a fez-shaped hat on the top here. Um, this uh, 
Because it's six-sided, that kind of gives away what it is. This is a silver coin from Egypt. Next up, one of the, the larger coins that we've got in the collection here is uh, Gustav V from Sweden, king, and this is one kroner from 1946. I found a coin that wasn't too different from this in a uh, 25 cent bin from the flea market not too long ago. So that one's got um, a little bit about a dollar's worth of uh, silver in it. We've got three matching coins here that I'm going to show off um, from Mexico. This one's dated 1920, uh, 1952. It's 25 centimes. This is 30% silver and a lot of Mexican coins will actually show you the uh, the silver content on it. Uh, I just happen to know that this one's uh, 30 cents. And it is a fairly large coin, um, so, but 30% doesn't get you very far. So it's got about a half dollar's worth of uh, silver in that one. Here is a second one from 1950 that's the same way. And then this is one that someone has, I guess, dipped in copper or something. Because uh, unless, I don't think that's the the... Maybe it's more of a brass color, but it shouldn't be looking like that. So that one is going to have the silver in there, but uh, so that's definitely uh, doesn't have a numismatic value. Uh, looking on, here is a, uh, a coin that still has a little bit of shine to it. And it is a Canadian dime that has a fish. So most uh, silver Canadian dimes have a sailboat, but this one is a commemorative for the Canadian Centennial, it has at the bottom 1867 to 1967. Uh, flip it around, we still have the Queen. I believe this is when they were at still 50% uh, silver. So looking for anything else here that stands out. And I'm just going to start going down the, the row here. Uh, with a British ruler, I see uh, King George VI. Uh, flip it around and... Ooh, that is in rough shape. Like almost as if uh, this side has been melted or something. I see NE right there, so I'm going to guess this one is Newfoundland. Which eventually became part of Canada, but it was its own country uh, until the early 1900s. Uh, these are pretty easy to find, um, 25 or 1961 from Sweden. Looks like we have a second coin of the same kind right there. Moving to the next one, another one with the British king. This one's George V. This is a British sixpence dated 1935 and... I think by then they were already no longer sterling. They were probably at uh, also at 50% uh, by then. Here is an older uh, Canadian dime, I believe. Uh, Well-worn, 10 cents on that side, and has Queen Victoria and no date uh, visible on this one. So looks like a, a fairly young uh, portrait of Victoria on this one. It's a shame that we can't get a date on that one. Uh, I might not even have that one at all, but I'll have to look it up. Here we have another coin that is too well-worn to see anything. It's about the size of that uh, British sixpence. Here is another Canadian dime. This one has the, uh, the sailboat design that uh, we're usually much more familiar with, dated 1958. So... Uh, there is Queen Elizabeth on this side. Moving to the next one. I see a little bit of leaves on this one, but can't really make out anything else on that one. Next up, we have something that we can read. This one is from Guatemala. Uh, this one is labeled 1957, 72% uh, silver. And this is, so it's a silver five centavos. Moving along, we have a, uh, 
This one is listed as two and a half grams. So uh, again, where they are listing the silver content on, on these, uh, dated 1942, I believe this one is uh, Dominican Republic based on the, uh, the logo of that one. And of course they advertise these were coins uh, in poor shape. Uh, I'm guessing that one is another Canadian dime. Uh, we have a uh, George V on this side. And uh, the where it says 10 cents is uh, just too well worn. This one I was really hoping to figure out from the picture. Uh, different than anything else uh, that came in the lot. It's dated 18. And I can't even tell if that's a 50s or 60s. What's the date on that one? But... Uh, I hope I can uh, figure that one out. I see the letters OTA written at the top here. Not going to be worth anything more than the silver because it is so well worn, but uh, I was going to say Nova Scotia, but there's an I that would be in there, so uh, that's not what that one was. Coming next to a coin where we can barely see what's uh, on here. This one is going to show on this side. Uh, uh, Simon Bolivar Liberator. So that's going to be a coin from Venezuela. Flip it over, about half the details are present there. It shows two and a half grams written at the bottom. A date of 1935. But don't have the denomination of the coin. But we just have the uh, the, the number of uh, what we had there. So uh, one final coin with uh, Queen Elizabeth on it. Uh, one more Canadian dime, again in poor shape, just like the others, but uh, this one has a date of the 1968, I believe. So, uh, again, this was uh, mostly just for the silver content. There were two coins in there I really liked, so uh, get silver while the getting's good on that. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.